Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a daily reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. If you are a Pisces celebrating your birthday today, happy, happy birthday to you. I wish you the best day. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come near. Please connect to the Pisces Collective and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages and guidance? We start off your reading with the Nine of Swords. Stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, even perhaps bad dreams. There's something going on in your thought processes that is giving you some type of, um, I, I'll just say tension, um, because some of you may not be worrying, some of you may not have anxiety, but there seems to be some mental tension. What other messages do we have for Pisces, please? What other, thank you. The next message we have is the Page of Swords. So we see going from the Nine of Swords to the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a message coming through very rapidly in hours or days. This is also about ingenuity, cleverness, wit. It could also be somebody's watching you. The Page of Swords is also known as a spy card. Let's see what else we get for you. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? The next message we have for you is the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups speaks about socialization, getting together, merriment, joy. It's also reunion and reconciliation. So we see some positive energy in the Three of Cups. Let's continue. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? I'm also hearing with the Three of Cups, despite what's going on in your mental processes, it's really going to be important that you focus on things that lift you up um, and bring you joy. And then we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is cutting through the difficulties. It's having new clarity. It's having victory over a situation. The Ace of Swords can also be communication coming through. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces today, please, Spirit? The next message we have is the Fool card. So what this is showing is cutting yourself free from any type of mental tension, that stress, that anxiety. As you become more clear, we see the Page of Swords becoming more clear about what's going on, really having that insight into perhaps what's bothering you, what's triggering you mentally, and refocusing that energy on joy. Then we see the Ace of Swords coming through to cut away the things that may be problematic, the things that may be challenging for you, so you can have a reset. So you can go forward feeling lighter, feeling happier, and more positive as well. Let's see what else we get. What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Then we have the Magician coming out. So the Magician is a number one. We go from the Ace, which is a one, to the zero, the Fool, and then we go to the Magician, which is a one. So we are seeing manifesting a new beginning, but manifesting a new beginning from a point of reset. Resetting and getting your bearing again, cutting yourself free from any stress and anxiety, any worries, and going forward in a much more light, much more positive energy. Let's go ahead and get clarification for this now. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this Nine of Swords? What is this Nine of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is this Nine? Oh. So it's interesting, the cards that are coming out for this Nine of Swords, because I, I'm feeling as though these are what has... This is what has transpired to put you in an energy of the three of, or the nine of swords. And we have the three of swords. There is some heartache. There is some pain. There is some loss that you have gone through. You have gone through something painful, something very difficult, and it's still on your mind. 
Then we see the Eight of Wands moving forward through that energy, just as we were showing, you know, instead of focusing on what was, focusing on being present in the moment, focusing on your joy. And then we see the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, you can see two swords on the ground and three swords that are being held onto. The Two of Swords on the ground indicates a decision, a head over heart decision to walk away from the Three of Swords energy, which we're seeing here, a movement away from the Three of Swords as because staying in this energy of the Three of Swords is causing resistance. The Five of Swords also speaks about jealousy. It speaks about I'm hearing the word gossip, so somebody may be speaking on your name, gossiping on your name, but we're seeing ultimately moving forward out of this energy, making a head over heart decision to move out of that energy. And that's supporting what we're seeing here with the Page of Swords and the Three of Cups, having that discernment, having that clarity to move forward and not be trapped in that... Um, energy of anxiety, of resistance. What is this page of swords for Pisces? What is this page of swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? For the page of swords, this is exactly what we're saying, is moving forward out of that resistant energy, moving forward towards something better. What are you moving forward towards? Towards your joy, towards socialization, towards merriment, towards happiness. The next card we have is the world. So we see you moving forward, going towards something that is going to be much more satisfying, much more complimentary to you. This is also you going through, an, going into a new cycle, closing out one cycle. We can see in the Six of Swords on this side, it's choppy water, but on this side, going towards calmer waters and we can see the directionality of the ribbons on the sword blowing you towards your future towards a better future now let's take a look at this three of cups spirit what is this three of cups for pisces what is this three of cups for pisces please for the three of cups we are getting the queen of pentacles Queen of Pentacles is feminine earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it's about security, stability, matters around the home. So you could be focused on making your environment more comfortable for yourself. The Queen of Pentacles also does have nurturing energy, um, mother type energy of security, of stability. The next, wow, the next card we have is the Nine of Swords. So you could have concerns just as we see in the Nine of Swords. It's coming back almost, this may be too strong of a statement, but it seems as though you're almost haunted by your thoughts. But here we're seeing focusing on your joy, having grounded energy. I'm going to get one more deck and clarify this Nine of Swords since we're getting it twice. It is a very prominent energy coming out multiple times now. But it's also interesting to note that we do see a progression from the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. So you are coming out of this period of stress, of anxiety. Spirit, what is this Nine of Swords for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Nine of Swords? For this Nine of Swords, Pisces... We are getting the nine of pentacles. So you may have concerns about your security, your stability. Some of you may have been dealing with issues of self-confidence or self-esteem. Um, I'm also seeing some of you may have um, um, concerns about your appearance as well. Um, but we're seeing, focusing on your security, your stability, the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This is showing that there is some stress and anxiety around your security, your stability, um, and matters of that. The, the Pentacles are material, 
um, 3D things. So something in your world is causing you stress and anxiety. What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? Show us clearly. For the Ace of Swords, we are getting the Three of Wands. So cutting yourself free from this old energy, from this energy of stress, anxiety, um, and moving forward towards security, towards stability. Cutting yourself free, looking over the horizon and planning more security, more stability for yourself. The Ten of Pentacles, we can see going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. What is that going to take? It's going to take cutting away the stress, the anxiety, focusing on your happiness, focusing on your joy, and focusing on what matters most to you. The Ten of Pentacles can also represent family. It can represent commitment issues or things relative to that as well. So take it as that resonates for you. Let's take a look at this Fool card. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this Fool? What is this Fool for Pisces, please? For the Fool, we are getting the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is slow moving energy, but it's also taking action. The action, you may only, you may be prepared to take more action than what you're able to take. It, I hope that makes sense. It's like you're ready to make changes, but you can only do so much at a time. And the Knight of Pentacles also references a career or job or financial shift as well. The next card we have is the Four of Wands. This is very favorable energy. This is showing taking a bold leap of faith. Even though the progress may be slow, you're building yourself a new foundation. The Four of Wands also being about celebration, celebrating manifestations coming in. 11-11, you're on the right path. And we can also see a progression from the Three of Wands to the Four of Wands. So you're going, you're getting through whatever difficult challenges or whatever difficult energy has been really troubling you. And, and I think this is a better word to describe the Nine of Swords in this reading, is it's like, what's on your mind? What's troubling you? What's keeping you awake at night? What is this magician for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this magician? What is this magician for Pisces, please, Spirit? For the Magician, we are getting the Ten of Swords. Let's pull one more card here. What is this Magician for Pisces, please? <clears throat> Pardon me. What is this Magician for Pisces? Anything else for this Magician? For the Magician, we are also getting the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So this is showing... The Ten of Swords is showing a situation that you cannot get back up from. Something that has happened, some type of betrayal, backstabbing, some type of trauma, some type of pain. It can also represent some type of procedure or surgery. The Five of Pentacles is showing a lack mentality or <clears throat> some type of um, it could be a sickness, having less than you need, rejection, abandonment. Then the Seven of Cups can be fantasy thinking, illusions, um, but in the forward-looking position, the Seven of Cups is showing having a new vision, having new goals. So what I'm seeing here is you've really been through the worst of times, you've suffered greatly, you've gone through some what appeared to be unsurmountable obstacles. And now what we're seeing is with the Ace of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords as well. The Ten of Swords, one plus zero is one, which is the Ace of Swords, which is showing. We also have the progression from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. This is showing you going through and overcoming the difficulties, the setbacks, the mental challenges that you've been facing and going forward to manifest new goals, new visions for yourself because you've overcome. 
the magician being the number one, ones are new starts, ones are beginnings. And the, man the magician shows that you have all the skills, tools, and abilities to overcome whatever difficulties, stresses, anxieties that you have gone through. The seven of cups can also show fragmentation. It could be that your circumstances had left you fragmented so you may need to recall your energy to yourself to refocus. And that's why we have the magician. It's a refocusing, a recentering, a repurposing of your energy. Let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. One card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. Nope, that's too many, Spirit. Show us more clearly what you want Pisces to know. Show us clearly what you want, Pis what the overall energy of this reading is. And here for your overall energy today, Pisces, we are getting solitude. So you may have been or may be spending some quiet time, some time alone to really learn something, to get some introspection, to figure out your way forward. But we're seeing a time of solitude, a time of quiet to really figure out how to move past the difficulties that you've been faced with. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces, please. One oracle for Pisces today, please, Spirit. Thank you. And for your oracle, we are getting graveyard. There's a song that bellows in the peace of knowing no end and acknowledging the crossroads of eternity. So we are seeing here a representation of the Ten of Swords laying the past to rest, coming to terms with the fact that here you are, Pisces, at a crossroads, laying down what no longer serves you, those that stress, that anxiety, the past heartache, the past pain, and going forward in a piece of knowing no end. So this is like a renewal, like... Even though things may have seemed bleak, you're going towards a new beginning. Let's get one more oracle here. Spirit, what oracle do you have out of this deck, please? What do you want Pisces to see out of this deck, please? What message do you have for Pisces out of this deck, please, Spirit? And there we go. And we have Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? So as we see a time of solitude, a time of coming to a crossroads, and a time of self-nurturing. And rather than giving your energy to stress and anxiety, the Nine of Pentacles is about self-care, self-preservation, self-confidence. How can you reclaim the energy of stress, of worry, of anxiety, whatever word fits your situation reclaim that energy and put it into mothering yourself loving yourself caring for yourself and most of all nurturing yourself how can you nurture your inner child how can you nurture yourself physically mentally emotionally you know and, and nurturing is also providing comfort for yourself spirit one angel answers for pisces please what angel answers do you have for Pisces today, please, Spirit? There we go. And for your angel answers today, we have be assertive. So this is your life, Pisces, and it's up to you. We see a number of, most of the cards we have here are minor arcana, which is indicating you have a lot of free will in this particular situation. We do have the fool and the magician. The fool is about taking a bold leap of faith. The magician is using your skills and talents and abilities to manifest or to bring about something new in your life. You're resetting, you're cutting things away. You're hitting the reset button and you're saying, you know what, I know where I have been. I know what I have gone through and I'm coming to terms with that. But what do I want to create for myself moving forward? And this is how we have like the fool is also a clean slate. And then the magician will build upon that clean slate to create something new 
for yourself. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.